shares with you a few incidents and lessons from Guru Nanak Dev Ji's life. Guru Nanak Dev Ji, in his early years, received education from both a Hindu priest and a Muslim Qazi. Later in life, whilst while meditating, he said, no Hindu, no Muslim. According to Guruji, a person who is kind, truthful, and respectful, who stays away from anger, greed, ego, who earns a living by honest means, and shares with needy, is only a true Hindu, a true Muslim, or even a true Sikh. Karne karna aap ke taam musliman sadai. Guruji has further emphasized that all human beings are the creation of one God, as written in Book 5. Ekunkar Satnam. Some call him Allah, some call him Ram, some call him Jesus, and we call him like me. I go to school and have friends from different countries and religions. We should not have any superiority complex of our own religion or heritage, but rather help, respect, and support each other. In Lahore, Guruji met a rich merchant named Vinikran. He expressed a desire to become even richer. Guruji, with the help of a very simple example, explained to him that money accumulated is of no use if not spent wisely. Rather, it can be used with wealth to help the needy, feed the poor, and clothe the naked. This will give them real happiness and satisfaction. Guruji is explaining the importance of burnt chakna and to apply it in our life. Once a person dies and is gone from this world, he uses the opportunity to help his people with the money he has. When I read the Saki with my parents, we discussed about this once. I asked my parents how I can apply this in my life. I love animals and I express my desire to help the animals. So instead of getting a toy, which already has so many, I adopted a rhino named Salvio living in a preserve of Africa. With these kind of little efforts, we can help the exonish and extinction. The cool part is I can track our progress and I feel happy about it. While in Assam, Guruji met a rich landlord named Bunya who earned money by robbing people. When Guruji came to know about it, he made a promise three things. Do not rob the poor, always speak the truth, and do not steal from the person who sold your taste in. Eventually, Bunya stopped doing these deeds and became a wise man. What I learned from the Saki is that we should always speak the truth and stay honest in life. Sacho ora satko, upa sachacha. Sometimes it may seem like changing your dishonesty will save some trouble or help us in a certain way, but then it becomes a habit and leads to a bigger cheating. Cheating and dishonesty at any stage of life are bad. In Saki's truthful living and getting rid of ego, Guruji has emphasized on two important things. Firstly, living a truthful and honest life. He explained that outside appearance is of no use if the inner self is not at peace and truth. Any accomplishments for dishonest deeds are of no use. For example, if a student gets a hundred by cheating, and then has that student learned anything? Ki only got sakya? Nay, he hasn't gained any true knowledge. Secondly, Guruji has emphasized on staying humble and getting rid of ego. Let's just look at the other scenario now. If a student gets a hundred on the exam by his own effort, then he should not brag about it. He should rather take take from the gods and stay humble. This be attained by following the path of Gurbani. When I was preparing the speech, I noticed that Guru is once in Lahore and once in Assam. He spread a message of peace and compassion in various directions and has written 974 shabdas. I did Jafri Sahib and at the end we recite a slok that begins with Bhavan Guru Bani Kata. Singing the slok has always been very appealing to me with the symposium, it got an opportunity to learn more about it. Firstly, Guruji made a point of connection of A with Y Guru, Y with Father, and Earth with Mother. He was asking us to respect and protect our nature and planet. Recently, Sankas in India and Pakistan are planting many forests in honor of Guruji's 550th birth anniversary. So close to the first six masters of our nature and planet. Further in this look, Guruji says that people follow the rules of nature, working the day and sleeping the night. There are people doing good deeds and people doing not so good deeds, but everyone is judged by his own actions. Those who remember the Guru and follow the path of Gurbani are loved by Vaguru and are truly successful in life. Jinni Nam Tiaya, Game Masakka Song, 
Nánek tým k obily, ke spíšte stýnou. Zadrží krakosa, zadrží kýpa tvěř.